Hello and welcome to this video. Roadmaps are somewhat new feature in Jira. Actually, they have been around for a few years, but until recently, roadmaps were available only as an add-on and they were not free. That has changed and today, roadmaps are an integral part of the Jira software product. In this video, I will explain the roadmap concept and how it is different from a project plan. Also, I will cover the differences between the basic and advanced JIRA roadmaps, and I will show you an example of how to use the basic roadmap to efficiently present information from JIRA to different stakeholders. After watching the video, you will be able to start using JIRA roadmaps in your JIRA instance, regardless of what plan you are on, and prepare great-looking roadmaps for your stakeholders. Enjoy the video. First, let's establish what roadmaps are and what they are not. Roadmaps are not project plans, despite often being considered as one. The information roadmaps provide is at a much higher level than in a project plan, and roadmaps don't have tasks assigned to specific people. Roadmaps are a highly visual representation of major features and major initiatives that will happen over a more extended period of time, such as months, quarters, or even years. Jira was not supporting the concept of roadmaps until recently. This feature was first rolled out exclusively in the next-gen projects and later in the classic projects. Jira roadmaps come in two flavors, basic and advanced. Basic roadmaps are available as a part of all Jira software plans, including the free one, while advanced roadmaps are included in Jira software premium plans. There are two main differences between the two roadmap versions. The advanced version supports roadmaps across multiple projects, while basic is limited to a single project. The other difference is team member workload monitoring, which is available only in advanced roadmaps. In this video, I will cover the basic package. First, let's make sure that the roadmap feature is turned on. In the classic Jira project, that is done in the board settings screen. You can navigate there using the action button in the top right corner of the backlog or active sprint screen. Select board settings and at the bottom of the settings list is the roadmap section. Just click on it and make sure that the switch to enable the roadmap for that board is turned on. Here is an example of a reasonably populated roadmap for a fictitious e-commerce website. You can tell right away that features and initiatives on the left are actually Jira epics. Functionality that is added by the roadmap feature is significantly improved visualization of the epics on the right hand side. We can quickly and easily tell approximately when each epic is delivered and how that delivery timeframe relates to deliveries of other epics. Notice that there are no specific dates mentioned anywhere, and that is entirely intentional. Roadmaps are used to convey the same information to various groups. For example, a marketing team is interested in when various user features, such as account management, viewing products, purchase, wishlist management, and stuff like that, will be delivered, so that they can plan marketing campaigns. At the same time, they don't care that much about monitoring and alerting or load testing timelines. Jira Roadmaps addresses this problem by supporting filtering by labels. All epics that support user features are labeled using the user feature label, while operational epics are marked with the ops label. That enables label filter here which allows us to switch between different views for different audiences quickly. Here is the marketing view and here is the operations view. If I need to add another epic, it is as easy as hitting this plus sign and adding a new epic without leaving the screen. Let's say I need to add a social sharing feature. I would simply type it in here and then drag and set its timeline accordingly like this. Here are a few more features available on the screen. Epics can be dragged up and down to sort by priority. Besides the default monthly timescale, 
weekly and quarterly timescales are also available. There is also an export functionality that will export the roadmap in a PNG file. Jira Epics contains stories, tasks, and bugs. That is not roadmap specific. It is a Jira feature that has been around forever. But this relationship has a different visualization in the roadmap screen. Each epic can be expanded to show its child issues, and a new child issue is created using the plus sign beside the epic name. Like everything else in new Jira screens, this section also supports inline editing. Epic's progress is indicated in the roadmap, and it is evaluated from the statuses of its child issues. Under Account Management Epic, there are green and blue bars. Green reflects the number of completed child issues, while blue indicates how many are in progress. Roadmap screen also allows us to see dependencies between epics in a much better visual way than before. For example, I have a blocking link between the shopping cart management and purchase, which is indicated with this line here. If I need to create another one, I can just grab this little handle that shows up when I hover over and drag it to the linked epic. This concludes coverage of new features that come with roadmaps. A couple of things to remember. Roadmaps are not project plans. Roadmaps represent major features and major initiatives. Roadmaps are used to convey the same information to various groups using different views. Thank you for watching and enjoy the roadmapping.